Welcome aboard, folks. Here we go on another Saturday of Your Voice Counts on Real News, Real Talk, Real People, RBN, because you can handle the truth. And we have a very, very special guest today. His name is Gene Hollop. And Gene uh, lives in, I think, two different places. He switches from Mexico up to uh, the north in Minnesota. But, uh, Gene, please hang on. I have some liberty business I have to take care of and... I hope uh, not to take uh, t- too much time, but I, I always do this every week, and I must get it done. And I also want to say that uh, Gene is a, is a good friend of, of mine and a shipmate, a very dear friend. In fact, I love the guy. His name is Larry Thorne. He's down in Mexico right now. I don't think Larry can get the show, but he understands that uh, he and I will be shipmates till the end. Always have been. He's, he's a great guy, and I love Larry. Love him very much. Folks, I do have some sad news. Very sad news. Uh, I probably neglected this last week. I don't know, but I want to make sure you uh, that you know that we lost another survivor uh, about a week ago or a little more than a week ago. Garvin Lee Douglas McMakin. He was 66 years old. He is he has passed on. My condolences to his family, friends and acquaintances forever. Very sad, at 66 years old, he is dead. Also, a very, very sad uh, death to uh, pass on is another shipmate of mine, Don Pagler, that lives out in California. His wife, Eva, Eva, passed away, and she has gone to a better place, I'm sure. My deep condolences uh, to you, Don. Uh, very, very sorry, uh, my dear friend. It's just uh, more than a person can take. And I just, just uh, I don't know what words I can say other than you're in our hearts and souls and we love you and, and uh, God bless you, brother. God bless you, brother. Also, I want to thank a very good friend, a dear friend of the USS Liberty, David Strader. David has done so much for the USS Liberty, it's unbelievable. What a good man he is. Great man. Folks, go to his YouTube. It's called youtube.com slash bad, B-A-D, B-E-A-R-N-E-S-S, youtube.com slash bad bareness, and you're going to get an eyeful, I'll tell you that. Thank you, David, for being a staunch supporter of the USS Liberty. We love you for it. Always will. You're the type of people we need to get the truth out. Appreciate it, David. Thank you. Folks, the reason uh, I'm on this radio station is because of... uh, John Statmiller, he gave me a shot, and I'm still here, so I guess I'm doing the right thing. We got we got guests booked up for the next three months that want to get on this radio station, this fine radio station, RBN. And your voice counts. Folks, the music's on. Remember, support your sponsors on RBN. They're the ones that, that really get it going, so thank you. And by the way, our board operator today is Manny. Thank you, Manny, for taking care of the board. So I'll see you in just a minute, folks. Thank you. collection calls. Imagine being free from your debt without settling and with no payment plan, no negotiating or filing bankruptcy, and no attorney. What if you could eliminate the risk from all your unsecured debt in about 90 days and keep all your money? You can. It's called Zero Debt Guarantee, and it works. There's no other program of its kind on the planet, and we guarantee the results in writing. Call now, 800-477-9256. Let our team of experts provide you
provide you with the resources to fight back, stop collection calls, and prevent and stop wage garnishments and bank levies. If you're facing foreclosure, we can help. Don't go it alone. Get free information now by calling 800-477-9256. Talk to an expert who has also completed our program. Call 800-477-9256 for free info or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's 800-477-9256 or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. Chlorine, fluoride, pathogens, and more are in the water you drink day to day. Do you want the ability to remove and reduce those harmful things in the water you drink? You can. How? With a Berkey water filter, a complete standalone gravity filter system that requires no electricity and no plumbing. Use for emergencies or for every day. Berkey systems come in seven different sizes. Where can you get one? From GetBerkey.com. That's GetBerkey.com. With the purchase of each system, you get 50% off accessories, such as fluoride filters, water level spigot, and sport bottles. Plus, free shipping on all orders over $25. For a limited time, get 5% off all ceramic systems when you use coupon code RBN. Call GetBerkey at 855-GET-BERKEY. That's 855-438-2375. Or visit G-E-T-B-E-R-K-E-Y dot com. That's getberkey.com. As business becomes more difficult, control of cash and the ability to borrow becomes critical. Working Capital Cash is your greatest insurance and guarantee of financial stability in these uncertain times. Equipment leasing allows you to obtain the income-producing equipment that your business needs and pay for it with tax-free, ever-devaluing dollars. Money that you've already earned and paid taxes on should be sparingly used. That is your reserve capital, safety net. We are also able to buy and lease back equipment that you already own and have depreciated, thereby making more cash available for your present-day needs. For a complete, comprehensive explanation as to how this financial truth will benefit your business future, call Bob New Incorporated at 888-639-2621. 888-639-2621. Keep your working capital cash reserves and borrowing capability. 888-639-2621. Welcome back, folks. Here we go. Uh, to your voice counts. Thank you for joining in. I really appreciate it. And I must say that today is one of those shows that that I wish I had two hours because it's going to be a very, very interesting show. Very interesting. And again, I want to uh, let you know about RBN. They have a pledge drive going. And if you go to republicbroadcasting.org and donate what you can to uh, RBN, to strengthen the uh, this show and to get it out to, to more people and to keep the quality up. The quality is probably the best on the air, in my view. Well, what a strong station. Uh, what a strong leader. So that is, that is my goal, to make sure that this uh, station stays on top. And I'll do everything I can in my power to do it with my radio show, Your Voice Counts, as well as the rest of the people that are on this, this great program, host and guests. Now, I, I got on this show for the reason of uh, honoring my shipmates, and I will do that to the day I die. I honor them for their, their service to their country, for dying for their country, for being wounded for their country, and being disrespected for their country. I honor those, the men for everything except the disrespect. We've been disrespected by the President of the United States, LBJ, and his crony, McNamara calling back rescue aircraft when we were in terrible, terrible need of assistance. The attack on the USS Liberty uh, lasted about as long as the attack on Pearl Harbor. We took uh, as much damage as any ship in the annals of naval history, including a 40-by-40-foot 40, 40 by, 40 by hole in the starboard side, which blew 25 innocent, loving Americans to bits. Good Americans. Marines. Sailors, and one national security agent, Agent Alan Blue. He was the only civilian that was killed aboard that ship, ship that we know of. So I said that the, our government has covered this up as long as Israel has for the last 45 years. And the anniversary is coming up next uh, next uh, Friday. Uh, it'll be the 8th of June. 
And we're going to have a special guest on a, a shipmate of mine, Joe Lentini, so be sure to listen uh, in on that show. It's going to be a good one. That would be another show that I need two hours. But I also want to thank a very, very dear friend of mine, a, a, a shipmate with great honor and dignity, a naval officer aboard the USS Liberty by the name of John Gadesco. He sends out a wonderful newsletter to people, and it just gives out uh, great news about the USS Liberty and what's going on around the world. Go to tinyurl.com slash USS Liberty, tinyurl.com slash USS Liberty. That'll get you John's fine site, and you can get the news of the day, and you can also learn everything you want to learn about the USS Liberty. I urge you not to go to Jim Ennis' site. Uh, that site uh, isn't uh, half the quality or quantity that John has. So I urge you to go to John's site instead of Jim Ennis's. That's for sure. That's my point of view. Also, I want to thank uh, another friend of mine, James Morris, that did a heroic thing last week at Memorial Day, shouting up against John McCain. We'll get into that later. Just go to ushijack.com, and you can go to his site, ushijack.com. Very interesting things up there. It keeps it up to date. You can learn very, very much from that. I have. I do. I learn something every day about uh, what's going on in the world, and especially the USS Liberty. James is a very ardent supporter of that. Also, my shipmate and friend, uh, Ron Kukul, who uh, has just uh, done about everything for the for the crew of the USS Liberty and help, you know, and helps on this radio show too. I know he's getting up in years. You know, he's going to be 73 in October, but he's sharp as a tack. He hears good. He sees good. He's got a strong voice and he said he had a strong libido. So there's nothing wrong with that. Not a, not a, a thing wrong with that. So what a, what a great guy Ron is. Love him with all my heart. Also, I want to thank uh, Kat, our producer in-house that uh, produces and gets all our guests. Like I said, we've got three months of guests lined up to come on this great radio station, Republic Broadcasting. So thank you, Kat. Love you for that. And your husband, Rick, great guy. He's gotten interested in it. And also Kat's mother. She's, she's a cat bird. She cuts things out in the newspaper and Anything that'll, that'll do with the, about Israel, the USS Liberty, she's there. She's there, and I really, really appreciate that. So, folks, without any other ado, I thank, I thanked everybody that I wanted to, except I have to push my book, what I saw that day. If you want to get the book at a discount, just mention that you heard it on this radio station. Call 888-698-8706. Just to get what I saw that day. 888-698-8706. Now, I want to read uh, my guest today, his bio, Gene Hollop. Gene grew up in a small town in rural central Minnesota. Graduated from high school. I sail sailboats, but now my age is causing problems. I did part of two seasons on the Great Lakes as a deckhand on oar boats. I then went to the Navy operations on a tin can petty officer first class. La last eight months I was in. I was the sea daddy, <laughs> sea daddy of operations at the end of my time. We were the first man of war south of the Suez after the Israel blocked it. Wow. In the 50s, Korean GI Bill. Went to the University of uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis. Did not graduate. Well, a lot of us didn't. A lot of us didn't, Gene. Some young people call me the electric dinosaur. Sail sheeted tight and going into the wind. I know a little bit about many things and not much about anything. Our bios are pretty close, Gene. Welcome to the show, and thank you for being a uh, a veteran, and especially a Navy veteran, and a good friend of my dear shipmate, Larry For uh, Thorne. Uh, welcome to the show, sir. Please go ahead. And what brings you on to uh, this show? Well, the only thing I would say first is uh, it's not electric, it's eclectic. 
It, oh, kids, okay. Eclectic. A couple of kids uh, got in a conversation oh, I see with, it. I, with me things. one time, and they figured out that, that I was quite old and that I had been in a lot of places, and so they called me the eclectic dinosaur, and that's why I, I've been hanging on to that. Oh, okay. Well, that, that that's that, that's quite an honor. you got you got to go good with that one. You bet. It's wonderful when kids want to engage you on, on where you've been and what you've done. Well, what brings you on? Uh, your voice counts in the USS Liberty, uh, Gene. And uh, by the way, thanks for coming on my show. I appreciate it. Well, the first thing I should say, of course, Larry's dad and mother I've known for a long time, and they uh, they had a cabin up here in the woods where I'm at, up in the north. And I used to stop and see them when they were out in air in uh, New Mexico in the winter time. His older sister was married to my lifelong buddy. I mean, I'm, we're talking lifelong buddy. He just died here a couple of years ago. And uh, he was the one that called my attention to this because he knew I was ex-Navy. And uh, what I didn't know about it, I didn't realize uh, that uh, his wife's brother was on, on the Liberty. And so uh, that's how we got involved, and that's how I had the chance to talk with Larry and uh, one afternoon at, at uh, my friend's place. And, of course, since then, uh, of course, I've delved into it considerably, and um, I've, I've mentioned this to our senators and uh, my rep from up here, and all they do is give me a, a, a thank you that they got my message. That's all I ever hear. Um, as you mentioned earlier, I will very candidly say that I have, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really quite upset over this thing because as a military person myself and, and on a tin can particularly, uh, uh, in my day anyway, we believed in covering each other's back. So if somebody's in trouble, we went to help out if we could do it. And, uh, and when we had that carrier for, Close by, uh, I and and Johnson called him off. At that point, I I got uh, well, I won't spell it the full word, but it starts with P. Well, you know, Gene, uh, I've I've thought about this many many times. You know, I don't I don't blame our Navy. I blame the higher ups, Johnson. Yep. McNamara, yep. John McCain, Jr., uh, Supreme Commander, uh, United States Forces Europe, for the recall, the cover-up, and the murder of my 34 shipmates and the wounding of 174 others. Yep. And I say 174 because there was 100 or 171, but since then, the men that didn't get their Purple Hearts have gotten them since then, thank God, good, because usually good. they don't get anything. But, good. no, I agree with you. Uh, I, uh, I can imagine how the men felt aboard the, the USS Saratoga, uh, USS Little Rock, USS America, USS Davis, uh, and on and on and on, USS Massey. Yep. Uh, and they knew we were in trouble, and no, yep. and they left us out there to be murdered. Uh, what a yep. disgusting, despicable act of cowardness at the highest levels of our government. And I might add, Gene, that continues on today to this very government we have now. What do you think about that? I uh, yeah, I I got problems, but uh, I got problems. It doesn't matter uh, whether they're Republican or Democrats, and I've certainly got serious trouble with the so-called neocons or neoliberals and uh, I am basically I come out of a background and I've been pretty much of a, a conservative. Gene hang on just a second sir uh, when the music comes on it looks like we're going to go to a break then we'll, we'll, we'll go on again Okay. Uh, I'm sorry Gene it'll just take a few seconds or a few minutes and we'll, we'll uh, get right back onto the subject matter folks again support your uh, sponsors of RBN Republic Broadcasting, because you can handle the truth. Thank you. We'll see you in just a few minutes. There are many water filters to choose from, but there is only one system that is consistently customer rated five stars as the number one system for effective filtration of fluoride, radiation, drug residues, heavy metals, a wide range of radioisotopes, and more. 
Introducing the Pure Effect Ultra, the next generation water filter that also raises alkaline pH, improves antioxidant potential, and has advanced anti-radiation technology, all while using no electricity. Sold worldwide, it provides virtually instant clean water on demand. It is not made in China, and the shipping is free to all 50 states. Buy your Pure Effect Ultra today by visiting pureeffectfilters.com or call 888-891-4821. Again, that's 888-891-4821 or visit pureeffectfilters.com. Hi. My name is David Stovenell, and I host a talk radio show called Operation Restore Christian America. To listen online, go to GenuineChristianityNow.com, then click on the Listen Live button every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. My primary focus is that the Protestant Freemason British Royal Windsor family is now apostate and making their final all-out attack worldwide in an attempt to force us to accept their satanic new world order. I offer remedies of how to stop them. The British monarchy has totally abandoned their ancestors' genuine Christian faith and have returned to their effort to conquer the world through the sovereign's will, hidden laws, violence, terror, and deceit. Remember, to listen online, go to GenuineChristianityNow.com then click on the Listen Live button every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. As many of you know, natural supplements are fantastic for your body and have zero side effects. You need to restore your body's natural balance. TeraVim strives to carry only the highest quality dietary supplements and natural vitamins that can be beneficial in helping your body recover from the impact of daily stress, allergens, illness, environmental pollution, and the aging process. Why buy from TeraVim? Simple. TeraVim provides a rewards program. Earn $1 for every $10 spent, free health consultations, free shipping on all orders, and an additional 10% discount on every order when you mention the coupon code RBN. Call 866-647-4372. That's 866-647-4372. Or go to TeraVim.com. That's T-E-R-R-A-V-I-M dot com. TerraVim, the best supplements on earth. Well, the time has finally come for the story to be told. The should have been listened to a long time ago. Welcome back, folks. Welcome aboard. Uh, your voice counts. Real news, real talk, real people, RBN, because you can handle the truth. Gene, thanks for hanging on through the break. And I wanted to get back to your thoughts. And I also, uh, if I did not, I, I did want to thank you for your service being in the United States Navy. But I'd like to ask you, uh, when you joined the Navy, Gene, uh, when did you sign up? Um, see, I came off uh, Orboat in late 54, and it was just after that. Okay, okay. I can't, yeah, right remember, exact, 50 I can't remember exact date. Okay. Well, the problem uh, was back in those days, I had so many people that I knew that were into Korea and stuff, and uh, they come back and, or didn't come back, and so I didn't think I wanted to be drafted. So that I I went into the Navy because I was a, accustomed to riding on ships and everything. Well, that's 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 a very good reason, and uh, the Navy is a very honorable and respectful. Uh, position to have in life, and uh, I was very proud to be in the Navy. The other thing I should mention to you is that, that uh, as you look at from my age at 77 years old and you look back through your life and you look at the high spots and the low spots, I I was very lucky in the sense that uh, the Navy put me into operations. It suited my personality better than I even, I didn't even know about it when they put me into it. And, uh, and of course, the success that I had to, uh, uh, to be first class petty officer the last eight months I was in, you, you can imagine I, I rode pretty well on that tin can. So, uh, I, 
I can only I can only say that I I, w- I was lucky to be involved in all the stuff that I was involved in, and because of in, when you're in that operation stuff, you're and I was in the Mid East twice, and uh, like I mentioned before, I went down through the canal and back up through it, and then we patrolled the south end of the Red Sea, and then we were into Ethiopia and then French Somali land and refueled and. It was uh, Aden uh, down there, and then it came back up. And we, in those days, we had a little bit of a problem between the Greeks and the Turks, and so we showed the flag and back and forth on both sides over there, and into Beirut and things, and into Cyprus and to Rhodes, and and back in those days. So I just I just mentioned that in, in passing. Well, it's, it's it's good to know that the American flag, your colors was your banner, your colors was your safety, your colors was your honor. Of course, uh, I don't think they'd want to mess with the tin can too much anyway. They had a lot of firepower even back then. Yeah. But, you know, with uh, with the USS Liberty and what happened to it and the treason. You were naked. You were totally naked. Uh, yes. I knew about the choices that I had when they put me in operations, one of them was the possibility to go to a Liberty ship back in the 50s. And then in those days that I knew of, they were up on the picket duty up in the North uh, North Atlantic. And I, I was kind of surprised when I researched this a little bit more and found out that you guys were all the way around on the east side of Africa, which I thought that was kind of interesting. It was, and that was our duty station. We'd sail up and down the coast of Africa, uh, five knots, six knots, yep. up and down and up and down. I mean, that's all we did. But, you know, uh, to be honest with you, it was pretty pretty good duty. It really was. We had good chow, mm-hmm. uh, very good captains. I remember uh, the first captain aboard the ship, he used to like to get up on the bridge, and he would uh, use a uh, M1 and shoot at uh, different uh different things in the water but uh, he would yeah. stop the ship and and do that we would have cookouts yeah. as we did with Magala, McGonagall and the, the first captain's name was uh, Wyland D.D. Wyland yeah. the yeah. captain very good captain and also was uh, Captain McGonagall but the tragedy about this whole story and as you as you well know and you know uh, Larry's parents and I was very uh, grateful to meet their parents and uh, one of his sisters when I was up north visiting, uh, what great people, uh, just mm-hmm. wonderful, wonderful people. Yep. Uh, I really enjoyed their talks and great food and just just great people. But, you know, when we get back to the USS uh, Liberty, uh, Gene, uh, what kind of power, in your view, does the government of Israel hold over this country to get by with slaughtering Americans on the high seas doing their duty? Money. That's a very good. Uh, that's a very good answer. It's very, very simple. I'm, I'm a long time out of uh, out of being in work, but when I was working here at the, my last job, I a, a lot of that job had to do with politics and uh, Minnesota politics and stuff. And uh, and I began to see that uh, the, the days of uh, somebody contributing a hundred dollars to a party. Uh, could catch you some attention. Uh, I began to discover that uh, take a hell of a lot more money than that before anybody would pay attention to you, and that's from the inside. I mean, I was on the inside, and I I can go through a whole long line of stories about uh, political maneuvers that I know about, which were had to do with money. And uh, of course, so the other thing is is that uh, Gene, here comes that song again, and we okay. have to go to a break. Uh, apologize about that, Gene, but we'll get back on the other side. We'll probably take some callers in just a little bit, but folks, remember, support your sponsors on RBN. Real news, real talk, real people, because you can handle the truth. Thank you, folks. We'll see you in just a moment. You're listening to the Republic Broadcasting Network because you can handle the truth. Herbal Healer Academy's new summer specials. Our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Organic liquid iodine, liquid cal, mag, vitamin D, CoQ10 with Hawthorne. 
Colon Enhancer, Super 2, Natural Laxative, our exceptional product Connexin, Memory Power, and Super Male and Femplex. All on sale for the summer at HerbalHealer.com. Also, 10% off on the HHA Survival Course. This is an important time to have this information. Might save your life. Nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. HerbalHealer.com. Free online newsletter. Quality natural medicine suppliers since 1988. We ship the same day you place your order. Free 128-page catalog with your first order. Go to HerbalHealer.com today. HerbalHealer.com. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balance the circulation for diabetics so the body is an amazing thing it simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself heart and body extract gets results to order your two-month supply call now toll free at 866-295-5305 order online at hbextract.com this is an important message from HempUSA.org. For our listeners who are advancing in age, baby boomers, and to all who want to be healthy, we urge you to try our microplant powder and see the difference it makes in your life. Please visit HempUSA.org and read about microplant powder. It's easy to take, one heaping tablespoon in any liquid three times a day. Call 908-691-2608 or visit HempUSA.org. Please inform your family, friends, and relatives about this incredible product. It can change your life if you give it a chance. So try Microplant Powder today. Call 908-691-2608. In this toxic world, Microplant Powder can help now in cleaning out heavy metals, parasites, viruses, fungus, and bacteria. Please download our catalog at HempUSA.org today. Welcome aboard, folks. Here we go for a, a pretty good long run on RBN, Your Voice Counts. And again, I wanted to thank uh, Kat for her beautiful, beautiful voice and her very touching and honest songs. It brings a, a tear to my eye every time I hear her, her voice, very beautiful voice, and and what she means by it and uh, the, what she's trying to relay. You know, folks, uh, the men that were killed aboard USS Liberty during the Six-Day War and forgotten in the trash bin of history, and the men that fought in Iraq, a war we should have never been in, fought only, and I mean this only for the sake of Israel, over 5,000 men, women, dead. And the wounded... How many severely wounded, physically and mostly forever, same as the USS Liberty Vets? I say no more wars for Israel. We take care of this country first. No more aid for Israel. In fact, no more aid for anybody. America's got to get its its house in order if we're going to survive as a great nation that our forefathers fought and died for and gave their treasure for. That's my view, and I think it's a lot of other people's view, too. I get a lot of emails on this. A lot of people call me, and a lot of people care. So, Gene, we're going to take some calls here in a little bit, but do you have any any uh, comments on my last statement? No, uh, no problem. Okay, my, go ahead. The only thing I would add to it is that uh, 
my youngest son was on the invasion into Iraq. He was there right. for over a year. He and his wife both, they they copped onto the reserve unit here in uh, Minnesota and drug him over there. And he was had something to do with the creation of the base up in the Sunni Triangle, which Cheney and Halliburton took over. And, of course, that kind of ticks off people that are on military pay when somebody takes over your job and gets six figures. That would, yeah, that would uh, kind of tick off uh, a whole lot of people. And, and you know, uh, my son that is uh, just got out of the Army, uh, Gene, uh, oh, I think he's been out about four months now, but he was in the Wounded Warrior Program for approximately 15 months before the Army cut him loose. He fought in Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. And I must say that he is not the same man or 18-year-old kid I sent off to war as he is now as a 24-year-old man. He's uh, a completely different person, and I guess war will do that to you. Yeah, anything that, any experience you're in you will has something to do with changing. I, I, for me, I'm basically somewhat of a gypsy, and I, I took off deliberately to go to see what the world was all about when I took off into the world. Uh, but uh, not everybody does that. Uh, but that that was that was my way of going around and taking a look at things firsthand. And and just like I'm in the winter time, I'm down on the border down there, and I look I listen to the news coming over the uh, TVs and radio, and I'm down there, and and there's no there's what what actually is going on down there doesn't really get on the radio and and on the TV news. And so, I mean, I got some I got some real problems with a lot of areas, particularly when you get involved in them and you're there and you're stumbling around in these things, and then you hear what's being said about it, and you know damn well it's totally wrong. And, oh, uh, I, I, absolutely. And uh, I want to go back to uh, last Monday, Gene, in uh, Balboa Park. Uh, there was a ceremony uh, that was. Uh, that was uh, meant to honor all service people mm-hmm. that had lost their lives. And John McCain was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, I guess you would call him the moderator of the whole thing, and also mm-hmm. Mitt Romney. Mm-hmm. And a friend of mine, James Morris, uh, was, was in the audience. It took him quite a bit of time to get in there. He was about ready to leave, and he finally got in. And he yelled out uh, to John McCain respectfully mm-hmm. after about 10 minutes of his, of his speech. And he asked the senator, uh, Senator, what about the USS Liberty and what about the cover-up mm-hmm. of the USS Liberty and your father's involvement? Mm-hmm. And then uh, the... Uh, Secret Service escorted him out of the complex. Oh, yeah. And they didn't give him a hard time. They were very respectful to him, and they asked him, why would you you do this just to say that? And he says, well, because I believe in the USS Liberty, and I'm an American firster. Yeah. And John McCain, once he heard the USS Liberty, of course, his father was in charge of the cover-up, you know, he's going to stick up for his daddy. He called James Morris a jerk. And when when he called James Morris a USS Liberty survivor a jerk that was there on my request and my behalf and the USS Liberty uh, crew member's behalf, I was on the phone with him when he when he was in the audience, And he says, I'm going to go ahead and do it, and he did. I praise him as a patriot. But when John McCain called him a jerk, he called the men aboard the USS Liberty that were slaughtered that day uh, jerks. He called their families jerks. He called the uh, the wounded jerks. And he called all patriots jerks. Is that the best word a senator can come up with? Was uh, 
the armed what, services. Uh, I'm not sure about McCain's dad. Was McCain's dad military? He was a four-star admiral in charge of uh, United States forces in Europe. Mm, okay. And, and he was he was the so lead he man orders. in the cover up of the USS yeah. Liberty. He took orders. He did take orders. Yeah, but he took orders. He took, he took orders to, to, to leave us out there alone. Yeah, I, I blame this. I, I blame this all the way back to the White House. I mean, uh, if you're a military and you're a lifer in the military and everything, you, you salute and, and do what you're told. Oh, absolutely. And uh, that's Especially what, when you get uh, up to that rank. Well, that's what one other man did, too, uh, Ward Boston. That, that was the head legal counsel for the uh, Board of Inquiry aboard the USS Liberty. And he later came out in life before he died and signed a, a declaration. And I also have him on tape, thanks to James Annis, or excuse me, James Morris, that uh, he says that the uh, cover-up was a white a sham. Him and Admiral Kidd knew it was a cover-up, but they were they were military men and they followed orders. But late in life, he changed his tune when he when he heard about a book written by a, a bankruptcy judge, bankruptcy judge A.J. Crystal, that called us all a bunch of liars and this and that and the other. That he had already talked to Ward Boston, which he had not ever talked to Ward Boston. Or Admiral Kidd. And so yeah. for that, uh, he uh, came out and said something, and he didn't take it to the grave like LBJ did and McNamara. And, you know, i got to ask you something, Manny. If uh, Is there any callers on the line? Because uh, I don't see anything on my screen. There should be. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure uh, because sometimes uh, my, uh, my uh, computer messes up. But to continue on, Gene, uh, with the uh, uh, Captain Boston, uh, in his in his late in life, and he was a very respected pilot, by the way, a uh, a pilot that that risked his life during World War II, and he, he went on to become a lawyer and retired as a captain. I think it's very admirable, uh, even though he did he did it in his later life his waning years, to, to come out with the truth, and I respect him for that. What are your feelings on that? Well, it's, if, if, you know, if, at the end and all that part, too, but the, the problem I got with all this is that in yeah, World War II, we built, um, we built uh, about 4,500 of those Liberty ships, and the silhouette of those are so distinct and unique. The other thing which I have, I have uh, no... Uh, have problem with is the cassette of the secret service of the uh, right wing Israel. They certainly knew what that ship was out there, and I'm sure that when you guys came through Gibraltar, nobody missed the fact that you came through Gibraltar. And so that we, when I was in the Med and on those uh, two sea, two trips that I made into the Med, I mean we knew a lot about all the kinds of shipping that was going on in the Med. So I. The cost-benefit analysis why Israel did this, I, it just blows my mind. I just, I just can't understand. I know the Russians were kind of hanging in there with the Egyptians a little bit, but I, I, uh, I, just, um, I, I really have a problem with anybody not seeing the facts of this thing. The facts of this thing, is, to me, is so damn clear. But then, on the other hand, I've been at sea. So, I mean, what the hell do I know? Well, you know a lot. You know a lot, Gene. Uh, you've been there and done that. You know about the lot of, a lot about the Navy, and I respect that very, very much. I mean, believe me, I respect it. I respect your service very dearly. And we do have a caller here. The first one that came up, and we have another caller, Phil in Florida. Hello. Okay. Oh, can you hear me now? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. That was my fault again. Uh, we do have two callers on the line, James Morris and Phil from Florida. Uh, I apologize about that, James, but please go ahead with your viewpoints. And uh, uh, welcome, uh, Gene, to the show, please. Hello. It's uh, James Morris. Uh, Gene, I wanted to salute you for your service, and I know that you're friends with uh, Larry Thorne, and he's a good friend of Phil and, and, and Katz as well. And 
the show couldn't do without Cat. Um, like Phil had mentioned, it's booked up with guests now for the next three months, and that a lot of that is, is Cat's doing and keeping us all in, in line with that with regard to the schedule. Anyway, um, Phil had touched on what I did with uh, John McCain earlier uh, this week on Memorial Day, and uh, it was really good to have a chance to have Phil on the phone to do that at the same time. I, I wanted him to hear what I have to say there, and uh, and he was able to, and I very much appreciate the opportunity being able to ask John McCain what I did. I actually looked at the YouTube video that's uh, closing in on 2,000 views now. I know that Mike uh, Rivero had very kindly put it up at whatreallyhappened.com, and I just heard earlier today that uh, Jeff Renz is going to uh, put it up put it up at um, Renz.com. He's going to make it a headline over there. But it's already gone viral on the Internet. All you have to do is uh, do a search for McCain Heckler, and it's got, like, you know, it seems to be thousands of pages, and the Huffington Post URL for it, which I think is the first hit you, you, you know, encounter, has got like 2,000 plus comments. So, you know, uh, we're very happy about well, that. But what, that's good. That's good. It is good. I didn't, anything, I didn't know anything about it because uh, the truth of the matter is, I have a, I have a, a real difficulty with, uh, with some of the the day to day stuff going on with, uh, with the wars and everything, uh, especially over the. Uh, broadcast networks, and so I, I over the over the over the holiday weekend, I I sort of went hermit out here in the woods. No, I don't. I don't blame you one bit. I mean, the the media that we have in America now, mainstream media, is just completely in the tank for Israel. I mean, you don't hear anything on the, of the other side of things usually in Syria. And uh, I did a Russia Today interview a couple months ago that was spot on with regard to. The pro-Israel lobby influence for getting a war going there, and of course that's the rest of the clean break uh, neocon agenda that got us into Iraq. You know, another war for Israel, and they're trying to drag in Iran. It's all it's all through the pro-Israel lobby pack and the neocons, which are the upper echelon of that. But but back to what I did earlier this week, um, we were just talking about the media. I mean, that's that's the heart of the issue here. A friend of mine had sent me an email, and he. Uh, so that was a wonderful job, what I did, asking John McCain about the cover-up. And what I'd actually said is, uh, USS Liberty, uh, what about the cover-up for Israel of the USS Liberty? And then I went on to say, your father covered it up for Israel. And about that point, I was ushered out of there. The Secret Service was very respectful and very uh, very professional, actually. And uh, they didn't even bother to escort me out. It was the local security there. And in the video, you can actually see the guy pushing me on the back as I went out. And I heard from yesterday from somebody at the Veterans Museum there in San Diego and Balboa Park that uh, he, he had, was in touch with the Secret Service, and they had no problem with what I said. They said I was well within uh, my rights of the First Amendment, my First Amendment rights. to say well, The only thing I would recommend to you is that uh, if, I, if it would have been me, I would have, I would have stayed on the, the political, and I wouldn't went for the... the uh, the uh, military uh, person, uh, I would I would stayed with the, the political the secretary uh, and the president of those days, and uh, but then that was no, but, you, uh, but sir, but Gene, you have to realize John McCain it has been in the tank for the neoconservatives. He's basically the, an advocate for them. And the only thing I disagreed with you earlier, you had mentioned that uh, you know, you, as a military man, you follow orders, but that that didn't really cut it at Nuremberg, did it? I mean, we we it's got a problem. It, it's got a, a a real problem, and uh, Nuremberg has a lot to say about that. And yeah, I mean, right that, that following orders excuse didn't work for the Nazis. No, nope. there's a morale. There's always a morale question. A morale. Right. And, and I was good friends with Captain Boston, and I actually asked him that. I said, I said, uh, Captain Boston, I respect you very much for coming out, and I've actually I sent uh, I gave Phil a DVD of the video that I'd shot of his only public presentation. Uh, that he'd made about the USS Liberty. It was to a group of retired spooks in San Diego. And anyway, I developed a rapport with him, and I uh, and I was just having dinner with his daughter in San Diego a couple of weekends ago, a very nice lady, Ann Parrish, who was on Your Voice Counts recently as well. And anyway, uh, I asked him, I said, the only thing I don't understand, sir, is how you could have gone along with not talking about this. And he basically said the same thing. He said, when a military man, uh, you know, sees his orders, uh, they're followed. I'm a military man, and I followed my orders. And that's the only thing I, I didn't agree with him on. But again, I, I I've never served in the military. Respect anybody who has, and I have the utmost honor and respect for them. That's why I didn't really like doing what I did on Memorial Day. But I couldn't uh, stomach John McCain. Uh, I let him speak for about four minutes or so while he was introducing uh, Mitt Romney, who actually smiled 
after John McClain called me a jerk. So that shows how much Mitt Romney respects the First Amendment freedom of I'm speech really as well. Sad. I'm really, really, really sad to hear uh, McC- uh, McCain uh, do that. I mean, this is really sad. well. You know, his, I guess his vocabulary isn't isn't the best, and that's about the only thing he could think of. And of course, our pro-Israel biased media. Uh, in America, well, he's always talk. been, as, uh, as far as uh, politically in that, he's always been a little bit of a, a Mustang. I, I, not a Mustang, well, but a little bit of a free agent off and on. And well, on well, well, you know, that's a misconception, too, Gene. That he, he builds himself as a maverick. And he's really okay. just a, he's really just gentlemen, a mouthpiece gentlemen, for the neoconservatives. The, the music is coming on, so we're going to have to... Uh, take a little break here and we'll be right back and I do want to give uh, some time to uh, Phil in Florida uh, support your sponsors on RBN Hey honey, I'm home. I grabbed a newspaper on the way home. Look at all the news today. Don't you know that all you're going to get in the newspaper is propaganda, twisted news and false information? Honey, this is a national newspaper. It has to be true. Ha! For some reason the majority of the population believe anything the mainstream media tells them. The newspaper doesn't give out the important attention of what's happening to this country and news that affects our daily lives. Say, does that newspaper mention anything about the North American Union? No, not that I can see. I didn't think so. You need to go to www.newswithviews.com, where truth is more important than political correctness. That's www.newswithviews.com. Hey, don't throw that away. We can use that in the birdcage. Okay, move over. Let me start reading newswithviews.com. The truth? Read all about it at newswithviews.com. Newswithviews.com, where reality shatters illusion. If you're the mother of a child with behavior problems, I'd like to talk to you. My name is Janet Lehman. I'm a behavioral therapist and a mom. I know what it's like when the child you love becomes a defiant, out-of-control child who disrespects you. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the program that tens of thousands of moms are now using to turn around their child's behavior. If you've heard about the Total Transformation and wondered if it will work for you, now you can try it for free. I'm willing to give away a thousand programs today for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I know the total transformation works because I used these techniques with my own son and with troubled kids for over 30 years. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program for free. Call now. 1-800-583-1093. 1-800-583-1093. That's 1-800-583-1093. Tired of being lied to by mass media? It's growing more and more apparent today that news is received less and less through standard media outlets. Even with a growing audience every day, RBN is beginning to direct more efforts into social media. Social media and the use of the Internet is fast becoming the primary source of people for news, regardless of demographic. RBN has set out to provide some of the best news on the Internet through republicbroadcasting.org and also has begun to use the tools to our advantage by way of social media. Republic Broadcasting is now operating a Facebook page to function as yet another avenue to have our collective voice reach new audiences across not only America, but across the globe as well. The Facebook page features not only news, but also an RBN player to listen to our broadcasts, as well as a contest corner where we'll raffle different prizes to our listeners. Get involved by visiting facebook.com slash republic broadcasting and liking our page and share it with your friends and family, because you can handle the truth. So here we go uh, for the last uh, few minutes of the show of Your Voice Counts. And uh, uh, Gene and James, uh, stay on the line. I want to bring up Phil from Florida so we don't leave anybody out uh, for this call. Uh, I appreciate pe- people that do call in and hang on. Phil, please come on board. Oh, thanks, Phil. It's uh, been a while. Uh, I, I know we're short on time, so I'll try to spit out what I have to say uh, as fast as I can. Uh, uh, thank you, Gene, for being a guest and all your contribution. I want to thank James for what he did on Memorial Day, and, and that's what a patriot does. Thank you. Um, I, I think there, there, there could be no greater dishonor to know the truth and stay silent and allow, allow more. Uh, I heard uh, a fellow say there's, no, no, there's nothing worse than 
sending uh, soldiers to die in vain than to sit back and let more soldiers go to die in vain. Exactly. So what James did is, 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 is what a patriot does, and, and uh, uh, hopefully more will, will uh, uh, do the same thing. Uh, Jack Blood of DeadlineLive.info also has that viral, uh, that video posted, and it is going viral. And I'm going to do what I can do on uh, the Veterans for Peace to get it, get it hits. Um, but I do want to say we have a remedy. Our people, the people, have a remedy for an out of control uh, government and military, and that is to call for the removal of office of the president by means of impeachment. Walter Jones, a representative out of North Carolina, has legislation introduced. Uh, Professor Francis Boyle from the University of uh, Illinois Law Department, who prosecuted Bush and Cheney uh, overseas not long ago and convicted them of war crimes, has still offered for over a year now his services for free to any member of Congress who will introduce uh, impeachment resolutions. We have to start calling for it, guys. And, yeah, well, it'll never happen. Of course it'll never happen if we don't call for it. The people need to call for removal of this madman from office. You and know, he's got to uh, kill Along that line, what I'm very concerned about is uh, Romney's lining himself with the same neoconservatives War for Israel, neoconservatives that uh, George W. Bush had. And if Romney gets in, I mean, God help us. Uh, the latest I've heard is that uh, McCain is being considered for Secretary of Defense, and his Bing brother, uh, Joe Lieberman, another Israel firster, is going to be Secretary of State. So you can I imagine you, what's going to happen with that. I hear you, but, but we're missing now by worrying about the future. Right now, We've got these wars that, that should have ended the minute Obama put his hand on the Bible. I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And it's up to us to end what's happening now. And, and if, if we continue to not call for impeachment because we might get something worse down the line if they actually did it, uh, it's, it's only going to get worse. The people have to put their foot down like you did on Monday and shout out no more. And and we have that remedy, and we're not using it. Um, and, so, and Phil, I wanted to thank you for uh, for your kind words, and also uh, offering to help get uh, wider distribution for that video. Like I said, it did go viral, but the pro-Israel biased media uh, like to touch on what uh, John McCain had responded to me with, you know, saying jerk, but they don't like to address what I'd said, and that of course well, is his role in the cover-up along with his father. We can fight him. We can outdo him. There's a lot of us out here. We we get on those YouTubes, get on the uh, the list serves, and and uh, and hopefully we'll get you guys on the radio more radio shows like Phil has you on tonight. And and I, we can outdo them, James. And I've heard we you can on outdo them. And Phil, I've heard you often on C-SPAN's Washington Journal. You're a patriot. Yeah, too. you. I <laughs> same you here. <laughs> yeah, you know, just before we uh, we close out the show, Phil, I want to hand it back to Phil. But just one quick thing I wanted to say. You can go to ushijack.com and see all the links with regard to that video uh, that I had with John McCain. And also, the, what really had me speak out, let me just finish here quickly and hand it back to Phil, is when John McCain, in the first four minutes of that presentation, as he was introducing um, Mitt Romney on Memorial Day, when he tried to say we have to honor the fallen Folks, death, folks here we go. I the music years old. He is dead. Also, a very, very sad uh, death to uh, pass on is another shipmate of mine, Don Pagler, that lives out in California. His wife, Eva, pass, Eva passed away, and she has gone to a better place, I'm sure. My deep condolences uh, to you, Don. Uh, very, very sorry, uh, my dear friend. It's just uh, more than a person can take. And I just, just, uh, I don't know what words I can say other than you're in our hearts and souls, and we love you, and, and uh, God bless you, brother. God bless you, brother. Also, I want to thank a very good friend, a dear friend of the USS Liberty, David Strader. David has done so much for the USS Liberty, it's unbelievable. What a good man he is. Great man. 
Folks, go to his YouTube. It's called youtube.com slash bad, B-A-D, B-E-A-R-N-E-S-S, youtube.com slash bad, bareness, and you're going to get an eyeful, I'll tell you that. Thank you, David, for being a staunch supporter of the USS Liberty. We love you for it. Always will. You're the type of people we need to get the truth out. Appreciate it, David. Thank you. Folks, the reason uh, I'm on this radio station is because of uh, John Statmiller. He gave me a shot, and I'm still here, so I guess I'm doing the right thing. We got we got guests booked up for the next three months that want to get on this radio station, this fine radio station, RBN. And your voice counts. Folks, the music's on. Remember, support your sponsors on RBN. They're the ones that they really get it going. So thank you. And by the way, our board operator today is Manny. Thank you, Manny, for taking care of the board. So I'll see you in just a minute. The north in Minnesota. But, uh, Gene, please hang on. I have some liberty business I have to take care of. And I hope uh, not to take uh, t- too much time. But I, I always do this every week, and I must get it done. And I also want to say that uh, Gene is a, is a good friend of, of mine and a shipmate, a very dear friend. In fact, I love the guy. His name is Larry Thorne. He's down in Mexico right now. I don't think Larry can get the show, but he understands that uh, he and I will be shipmates till the end. Always have been. He's, he's a great guy, and I love Larry. Love him very much. Folks, I do have some sad news, very sad news. Uh, I probably neglected this last week. I don't know, but I want to make sure you uh, that you know that we lost another survivor uh, about a week ago or a little more than a week ago. Garvin Lee Douglas McMakin. He was 66 years old. He has he has passed on. My condolences to his family, friends, and acquaintances forever. Very sad at 66, folks. Thank you. these annoying collection calls. Imagine being free from your debt without settling and with no payment plan, no negotiating or filing bankruptcy, and no attorney. What if you could eliminate the risk from all your unsecured debt in about 90 days and keep all your money? You can. It's called Zero Debt Guarantee, and it works. There's no other program of its kind on the planet, and we guarantee the results in writing. Call now, 800-477-9256. Let our team of experts provide you with the results Sources to fight back, stop collection calls, and prevent and stop wage garnishments and bank levies. If you're facing foreclosure, we can help. Don't go it alone. Get free information now by calling 800-477-9256. Talk to an expert who has also completed our program. Call 800-477-9256 for free info or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's Welcome aboard, folks. Welcome aboard, folks. Here we go on another uh, Saturday another of Your Voice of Counts your voice count. on Thank Real you. News, Real Talk, Real People, RBN, because you can handle the truth. And we have a very, very special guest today. His name is Gene Hollop. And Gene uh, lives in, I think, two different places. He switches from Mexico up to 